Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to create this beautiful bag that I made last week and it is uh, made of granny squares with 3D flowers. Honestly, this is very eye-catching and I'm absolutely in love with it and it's actually very easy to make. So please, if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe, comment, like and share and tell me what kind of videos you would like to see more in the future. Once again, let's get into the video. This is one of those days when everything goes wrong. Um, my ring light broke and I did not want to buy a new one. This one is fairly new. So I went to the store and got this. It's plastic, cola loca. It's uh, epoxy plastic. You just need to mix part A and part B. Mix it well until the color is consistent. Put it around, wait for it to dry and voila. The issue is fixed. I actually had to hold it like this until it dried almost completely. Not funny. Okay, so here is the moment of truth. If this is going to work or not, I may mean, completely disregard that mess over there. Let's say that it works. And hooray, I'm ready to shoot. Uh, well, not. This little table has been giving me headache for a very long time, so I decided to switch things up a little bit. Um, I needed to do a little remodeling, because as you can see, it's a table that can move up and down in all directions, and that just did not work for me, because if I would lean, it would just go to the other side, and it was just crap. So I removed the, um, these little screws and those little two plastic, um, whatever they were. And then the table was ready. Well, not quite. It was very dirty. So I needed to wash it and wash it well. I needed to scrub it for the next, um, next stage. And the next stage is actually gluing uh, wood that's, that's gonna go on top and make this little table big. Yes, it will grow in this video. This is my cat. He thought he was helping. He wasn't. So this is the piece of wood that I was telling you about. I actually bought it at Home Depot. Uh, it looked like it belonged um, on for it's like it was made for a shelf. Anyways, I took this glue. It's called uh, Resisto and um, it's supposed to like be very, very strong. Like you can glue anything even to the wall. I haven't tried that because we have real walls. We don't have like those dry walls. So I don't know if it will work for them. But anyways, this is what I did. I just uh, cleaned it up a little bit so that it doesn't have any dust, any specks or anything. Added the glue as much as I could. Put the table, pressed it down and I left it to dry overnight. And it worked. <laughs> I was very impressed. This is now a table that I can work with, but the edges are a little bit rough. So I filed them and wanted to color them with this acrylic in a really thick layer, which I did do, but I didn't really like what it looked like. So I decided to use this masking tape, which is actually just paper tape. You can use washi, any and just go around, use the extra wide one so you can have all the edges done perfectly. Once that was done, finally I could get to crocheting. Um, this has been an epic long journey. <laughs> it took me two days to finish what I needed and um, then I had issues filming. So anyways, here I made a magic loop and I have in another video how to do that. It's a little bit slower than this one. And then I crochet three chains, the chain of three. Then I do the double crochet once and twice because I need three of them. The first one that we did, the first chain of three counts as double crochet. Then I chain two and I do another set of three double crochets in the in the same loop so yarn over pull through the loop 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to do this four times. So you need to have four sets of three double crochets in this um, little magic loop. And now we have come to the last set of three double crochets, which we're going to do in the magic loop. And once you do the set of three, you're going to chain two, and then you're going to connect them with the slip stitch in the third chain from the loop in the first chain of three that we did when we started the magic loop, when we started crocheting. Once you do that, you're going to chain three again, but first you can pull this magic loop so it closes, pull it tight, but don't break the yarn because we need it to stay tight. So chain three again. And because this is going to be the edge, we are going to chain two extra ones and then we're going to skip those three and we're going to work in the next loop the corner the little corner that we had and in this little corner we're going to chain set of um, two sets of three double crochets so first you're going to do three then you're going to chain two and then in the same chain space you're going to uh, do additional three double crochets so that we can make a turn so that we can make the that square shape so in this row, we're going to repeat practically everything that we did in the previous one with that little difference that in each on each corner, we're going to do two sets of three double crochets. And then in between two of them, we're going to chain two in order to create the turn that's going to be the corner. And then after we finish it, we're going to have a perfect square. You can see right now that I'm crocheting it on that corner. I'm adding three double crochets through that loop. And right now this is the third, so I'm going to chain two. So that we can create this little corner that I just showed. One, two. And now we're going to do the same thing over again in that same chain space. You're going to repeat this until you finish, until you reach that first chain of three that we made, and then I'll see you back. And here we are. I did, I made um, double crochet and then a second double crochet. And the first chain that we made there is going to serve as the third. So we're going to count three and that's where we're going to pull the loop through and slip stitch then we're going to chain three again and we're practically going to repeat everything that we did in the previous row just that here right now we have extra spaces in between the corners so here is the corner that i did so i'm going to show you what you do when you reach this space you're going to do three double crochets in this chain space and then you're going to chain two and then you're going to reach the corner we're going to do two sets of three double crochets just as we did in the previous row. And this is practically the end. Right here, I'm just going to put them together and we are done with our granny square uh, form. Uh, if you wish, you can make them bigger. I, for this tutorial, I made them smaller, but you will see that in the bag, they are quite big because I didn't want to end up having to make like 20 or 30 of them. I just wanted nine squares for the bag. So, and now I'm going to show you how to do the flowers. Um, I decided to do uh, two by two because the first row has 12 
double crochets, which means that I'm going to have six petals for the leaves. And I decided to do the leaves like on the little cacti and it's, it just looks cute. Um, so once you pull the yarn through, tie it up so that it doesn't come undone. You don't want that happening uh, in the middle of your work. And then you're going to uh, do double crochets. You can choose how many you want to do. I think I did three double and uh, one half double crochet, which actually helped me get that nice, cute, rounded shape of the petal. So um, in this, at this stage, it is totally up to you if you want to have, to, if you want to have six of them, if you want to do them two by two, or you want to have only four of them. Because if you decide to have four of them, you will grab, instead of uh, two double crochets, we're going to grab three double crochets. But that's just um, personal preference and depending on what kind of look you're going for. You don't even have to have uh, leaves, you can just have a flower. Um, make sure that when you do the leaves and the flower, that you are pulling through these little loops that are hooked onto the, um, the granny square. And once you are done, just connect the petals through uh, with a st slip stitch and make sure to pull the yarn uh, tight so that it does not come undone. And also you can um, pull the yarn to the back so that it doesn't bother you and is in the way of uh, the next part of the flower. As you can see, we're going to work the petals of the flower in the same fashion as we did the leaves. There are different ways that you can do this. I just chose this one because it reminded me, as I said, of a cactus. And um, I thought it would be cute. And this is the easiest option that you have. Again, do the same thing. Pull that piece of yarn through and tie it up so that it's uh, tight and it does not come undone. And I'm just going to repeat everything we did previously with the green yarn. All of the little petals are made of double crochets apart from the last one. The last one is done with just half double crochet. First uh, part of the petal is made with um, slip stitch and a chain of two. And then I continue with double crochets. This is the close up, so I hope it's easier for you to follow. And when you reach the end, you're going to repeat the same thing. You are going to do a slip stitch in the first petal and then loop through and pull it to the back and tie a knot. So this is how you will put them together. Uh, so you have two, three, four, five, ten. It doesn't matter how many of the granny squares. And this is how you're going to do it. You will find that kind of like zero point, which is the first uh, in the uh, on the corners, the first loop, the first chain. And then you're going to loop through it. Make sure that your yarn, your working yarn is right in the middle. And then you're just going to grab each stitch on the side and you're going to pull the yarn through. I use different color because uh, it's easier to follow what I'm doing, but also different color gives you um, a little bit nicer look. It just makes everything come together in a nicer way, makes it more contrasting. And once you're done, it's going to look like this. It is very pretty and it gives something extra to the bag. You will see it in a minute. And uh, you just need to go all over the, the, the bag around it, like uh, when you put together your granny squares, uh, as you can see right here with the green yarn. 
and then you're just going to make some kind of some form of casing it's actual bag um, you need to have like lining for uh, the, the granny squares you need to have the straps and you need to have the bag for the bag try using some fabric that has sturdiness to it that's going to keep its shape and this is pretty much it the bag is done and ready to wear I hope you enjoyed it and that you will make it if you do so please comment like subscribe share and tag me in your creations thank you for watching bye bye